12 News, your local election headquarters. Another candidate expected to enter the race for Rhode Island governor. It's becoming a pretty crowded field of candidates, especially on the Democratic ticket. Yeah, Target 12 has learned former CBS Health executive Helena Folks is set to start her campaign. Kate Walsh is joining us in our studio this morning with where things stand. Well, Helena Fogues hasn't announced her candidacy herself, but multiple people familiar with her decision confirmed it to Target 12, but could not speak publicly by name. She's now the fifth Democrat to enter the field of Democrats running against Governor Dan McKee. Rhode Island's next governor won't be decided until next November 2022, but a year ahead of time, we're now seeing a fifth Democrat and zero Republican so far throw their hats in the ring to unseat Governor Dan McKee, who's also expected to run. The latest Democrat to enter, Helena Folks, has not run for office before, but has strong Democratic political ties. She's the niece of former Connecticut Senator Chris Dodd and granddaughter of the late Senator Thomas Dodd. She's longtime friends with Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo and her mother was college roommates and lifelong friends with Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. Folks herself is no stranger to holding positions of power, though. The 57-year-old was once named to Fortune Magazine's Most Powerful Women in Business as Executive Vice President at CVS Health, Rhode Island's largest company. Folks now has the task of making herself known to Rhode Islanders as she campaigns against Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea, General Treasurer Seth Magaziner, former Secretary of State Matt Brown, and second-time Governor Gubernatorial candidate Dr. Luis Daniel Munoz. So why announce a run for governor so early as it may seem? Well, one financial reason is by announcing now, candidates can collect money from donors in both the year 2021 and 2022. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.